Hello everyone, Becca here from Willow Hill Designs. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, today I'll be working on week four of Marguerite Miller's Weekly Collage Planner Challenge. And um, we'll start with the prompts here. Something folded, housework, whatever that means to you. An ocean creature, a random piece of washi tape, an art scrap, bonus wrapping paper. Um, so, I think when I thought of sea creature, an ocean creature, um, what came to my mind was the movie, The um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And I had seen that when I was a kid, and I don't really remember much about it, but... Um, I know it was kind of a fantastical voyage under the sea, and so the image that I decided to search for was the Nautilus, uh, the ship that Captain Nemo took down 20,000 leagues under the sea, and um, so this is the, the image that I found, and I, I loved it. I thought it just looked kind of exciting. So I had already pre-glued some strips down here just to get me started so that I would have an idea of where to um, set my page, not too low, too low or too high. Um, and I just touched a little bit lightly around the edges of this picture with um, the um, my Ranger's Black Soot um, Ink Oxide, Oxide Ink and put this down on there. So... I'd like to put this image here, I'm thinking, and um, so that kind of, to me, set the scene for this creature that's going to be under the sea, and actually, I don't know if you can see it, but there is an octopus on here, so this large octopus is coming near this submarine, um, so that is one uh sea creature or ocean creature. Uh, so I guess I'll glue that down. I'll start with that. I don't really remember too much about the story. I don't remember um, except that it was this, you know, kind of futuristic submarine and that he was going down lower than I think any other submarines had gone before <clears throat> and what he was going to encounter so it um it just kind of seemed really fantastical i don't know is that a word fantastical but um i loved those old those old kind of um fiction fantasy movies that were always on on Saturdays, <laughs> it seemed. So that will kind of set my scene here for kind of an underground, an under ocean theme. And so th in thinking about uh, this ship, I thought about, um, this is called the Nautilus, and so I found this also when I was looking for um, a scene from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and I loved that. I thought that that might be, that might look good on there, and um, so I'd like to include that, and I'm kind of jumping around here just so that I can compose my picture. And on this, the, these are actually strips of fabric. On these strips of fabric, there's pearls, and there's gold, there's jewels, and um, that kind of made me think of undersea treasure. So I liked these strips on there. I liked the color with this picture, but I also liked the idea of the pearls and the jewels and thinking of underground treasure. And um, so one of the prompts was a scrap, an art scrap, and so I thought if I'm going to use this title, 
on here that I would have a scroll. It just seemed as though there should be a scroll with this uh, title on it. It kind of went with the whole mysterious thing for me. So I just drew um, a little end of a scroll and then I knew I could use it on the other end if I was making a scroll. And so I drew this. This will be my, one of my art scraps. And uh, this was just a piece of, um, oh gosh, what is this called? I can't think of it right now, but it was a piece of paper that's um, a type of, uh, oh gosh, what is, I can't think of it. But it was kind of an ivory color. And so I just went over it with my um, inks and just sort of shaded around the edges and on top to give it sort of an aged look. So I will put, oh, excuse me, my nose is running because this cold is not leaving me. So I thought I would put this here and put, put this scroll or this uh, title on top of the scroll. So in other words, if you were watching the movie, the old movies with um, the lion and I don't know, maybe there would be a scroll. So I thought I would put that on there. So I will glue this, glue this name, the Nautilus. Oh, I think my bottle is a little bit stopped up. See if I can get it flowing again. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a little better. I think we're getting to the end of this bottle. It doesn't quite want to come out. There it goes. It's done. Okay. So I guess I'll put this, try to center it on the scroll here. And that's not straight, is it? Oh, goodness. Whoop. Let's try to get it. Oh, look at that. It came out pink under there. I guess I have to use both hands on this. Okay, I think that's better. Oh, that was lucky that it didn't um, grab the way art glitter glue usually does grab. So that'll go up there, I'm thinking. And um, for a folded piece of paper, let's see, I, I also had copied a smaller version of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, the Nautilus, Jules Verne, 1870. And so that will be my folded piece of paper. And I'm thinking I'll put that somewhere here, which kind of brings this color down here as well. So that will be my folded piece of paper. And housework, whatever that means to you, for me that means vacuuming. And I found this image, which I loved because um, it's certainly set back in time the way this movie was and um, and the book and um, the colors also went with the colors in my page and for me I remember when the kids were home I mean I vacuumed daily religiously I vacuumed every day um, not so much anymore now it's more or less once or twice a week but <laughs> housework was definitely vacuuming daily so I thought I might put this here somewhere. Um, and I guess she's, she's employed by Captain Nemo. I think she's doing some cleaning on the, on the ship. 
so that would be my housework and um, I'm not going to do the wrapping paper I did the the bonus wrapping paper I did this fabric strips around there and they went better than any wrapping paper that I could find and I also had just cut with my deco edge cutter some strips of paper and I used um, the uh, oxide ink again on these, the blue and I think the forest, I think it's denim and forest green, can't remember the exact colors. But um, I did these and I drew some bubbles on them. So I thought it might be interesting to add that. That would be another scrap of art over here. So I thought I would put them like this just a couple of scraps of art on there and those are the bubbles that you might see in the sea um, so I will I'll glue down the, the uh, larger one first let's see where that goes okay let's see how far up it extends under I just did some random circles to look like bubbles on there. And um, let's do it kind of like that. I think that'll be okay. And I wanted to put a second strip on there. Not sure which way. Maybe I'll do it that way. So these bubbles are just kind of denoting um, the air that's released from the submarine or divers. Um, the inks really changed the color of this paper, as you can see. It really gave it a very nice aged look. They come in handy for that. Try to get the edges there. And let's see if we can center this on here. So that kind of says what this ship is, the Nautilus, 20,000 leagues under the sea. Kind of a sci-fi movie. That was one of the exciting ones of those, of those days. Okay. I think before I put that on, I will put, uh, I'll glue this down. Okay, I think I'll move that over there. So this is my folded piece of paper. And I guess that'll go right about right about there. And then I'll add my vintage housewife doing her housework. This was probably an advertisement for a vacuum cleaner, I'm guessing, back in the day. Okay. 
Okay, and let's see. We'll put her around here. Okay, a little house cleaning lady. Okay, and this I would like to put here somewhere, maybe like that. And I have another strip of these, um, these bubbles. Um, again, just a little scrap of artwork. I was thinking of putting that here, tying in all the colors. So I guess I'll glue that down at the bottom. This on. Whoop. Got a big glob there. And let's see, let's do it this way. Okay. Let's see. About there. little bit of glue there. Okay. And my last strip here. I don't even know if these represent anything. I just I just liked the bubbles and <laughs> I liked the colors. So I guess we'll do it this way. I guess I'll do that. Does it matter which? No, I like it the other way. Get my glue to get moving. Okay. So those strips are on there. And the very last thing is an ocean creature, which there is this um, octopus there in the background. But I um, took from my antiquarian book of stickers, I took three um, sea creatures, I guess. I think these are, I think this is a um, scallop shell. And I'm not sure what kind of maybe a snail shell that is and um, a starfish. So uh, they will, the starfish will be another sea creature on here. So I think, I think I'll put that there. Right on top. Along with this huge giant squid and another one, it looks like two squids up there. And um, I love this little shell. I think this is awfully cute. I mean, in that book, there's some really weird, weird creatures. Um, I'd like to use both of these shells. Kind of like you see shells, maybe, at the bottom of the ocean. see where they might look good. I think I kind of like them there. I kind of like that guy there. And this one Maybe here. Near the pearls and everything. 
and I guess I'll probably glue that shut. Um, I wonder if I should put anything else there. Let's see. I had a uh, I had a piece of coral that I was thinking of using. Let's see. Here it is. I don't know if this is too much. It might be. Oh, I think maybe I'll do that. Let's see. Maybe I'll use that coral. It does have the same colors that are in... I don't think we need this part on there. Uh, let's see. I think, oop, I lost it. I think maybe it can go under here as if it's coming out from, growing out from under there. Let's try that. I suppose I could stick that down just so it doesn't catch on things. There. So that is basically my composition for week four. So let's see if we've gotten, I think I've gotten all the prompts except for the wrapping paper. Something folded, that would be this of the Nautilus, which is just a smaller version of that. Housework, whatever that means to you, which is vacuuming and other things. An ocean creature, let's see, we have this large jellyfish and a starfish and some scallops and whatever other creatures live in that shell. So we have an ocean creature, a random piece, oh, I forgot the random piece of washi tape. Well, let's see. I do have this tape that I thought I would use. And um, I'm just going to grab a little piece. Let's see. I don't think I want a piece with flowers. So I'll just grab a piece with some writing on it so that it looks like um, there was a write-up about this Fantastical Voyage Under the Sea. So I guess I'll put this little scrap of washi tape here. So, scrap of washi tape, an art scrap, and that would be my scrolls and my um, whatever these are, strips <laughs> with bubbles on them. Boning, bonus wrapping paper. I didn't do that. I used some fabric instead. So that is my composition for week four. And I will show you a close-up of this. This was a fun one. This was another fun one. I think I say that every week. But um, it was a fun one. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey. And um, I will see you in the next video for week five. Bye for now.